What's up everyone? This is Tarun Gale from Tarun Gale Fitness, uh, your fitness expert answering your fitness related queries. So a lot of people and a lot of you have been asking me, uh, you know, tips on transformation. How did I manage to transform myself? And what exactly did I do? Uh, uh, did I did I do drugs or, or 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 what miracle product I used? You know, I want to share this with you all. You know, I've kind of jotted it down to all ten things that I want to share with you and how and which made me transform. So obviously, there is no usage of drugs. There is, of course, there I've used a lot of supplements which include protein, which includes, you know, a bit of fat burner, which includes glutamine, which includes BCAAs. Uh, and, and, and I don't encourage the use of this because as I always say, supplements is a matter of personal choice. Uh, it's your call whether you want to take them or not. Uh, so my journey has been uh, very, very uh, tough. You know, I've met up a lot of people in my life, you know, who mis misguided me. I, uh, I tried all the diet fads you can think of from Atkins to GM diet. Uh, I, I've i pretty much uh, uh, spoke to all the trainers, so-called fitness gurus of the world, asking them, how can we, uh, can you please help me? How do I transform myself? I really need to lose some weight. But, you know, all of them, uh, uh, you know, they just want one thing from you, which is they want to just make money out of you. And... I pretty much uh, and you know there are times when you are okay to spend that money so long you get the right guidance but uh, as you know how people are uh, uh, nobody kind of shared anything with me uh, so after a good trial and error of years uh, I kind of nailed it down to 10 things which helped me transform myself I'm happy to share those 10 things with you some of you may find these things very simple uh, but actually if you were to look at it it's very true and uh, uh, this has actually helped me a lot. So are you ready? Let me share those with you. Here we go. So what are those things? Number one, I uh, I really don't, um, I was never a, a coffee person. Even, even if I liked coffee, it was for me, it was always about, uh, 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 you know, cappuccino or, or, or having a milky coffee over anything else. But... Uh, I realized that drinking black coffee can actually have some effect if not a drastic effect on your body and you know you got to just have that black coffee because it works as a stimulant for for and I've actually done a video on it I'm just going to put a, a link on it for you to kind of uh, have a look black coffee has done wonders for me you know I usually I used to drink it uh, before my workouts and even post meals to kind of settle food in uh, uh, not only raises your metabolism it's a great stimulant it also helps you cut down uh, uh, your appetite too which which is uh, which is great for uh, weight loss when especially when you're trying to create that calorie deficit number two you know, people always talk about olive oil, how that should be good or you should use this. I think that's that's so passe. I think uh, the next generation of oil that you should be using is for for cooking is coconut oil. You know, the benefit of coconut or coconut oil uh, are immense, you know, probably better than olive oil. Uh, for me, uh, I just wanted to replace olive oil because my body was getting used to it. But the moment I switched to coconut oil, uh, I realized I could totally see the difference and you know you can see the benefits on Google what exactly how coconut oil can actually help you so I don't want to waste time there talking about coconut oil. Number three, uh, it, it's funny you know I, I, I kind of got rid of all the big plates that I had in my house so I thought you know I should just have small plates now uh, because what it would do is that you know it will make me feel as if I had a huge meal. So if you if your plates are small, chances are you would only put limited amount of food in those plates. Psychologically, because weight loss at the end of the day, it's a very psychological game. It's a mental game. You have to win your mind over your body. So these kind of things really help. So using small plates for smaller meals made me realize that I should not be kind of, you know, eating too much because the idea was to keep myself full till about 60 to 70 percent you know uh, uh, not eating too much so much so that you're bloated and you get that water retention back so this really helped number four you know capsicum you know i i never liked spicy food uh, but somebody told me that adding capsicum uh, can be of great advantage so what i used to do was i used to spice up my food uh, like for example in my salads and my uh, you know in my sabzis in my stuff so much so that you know uh, uh, there were times when I couldn't even eat them but again that's not the right thing to do what you really want to do is you know in your salads or in your sabzi you can take a call whichever one you want to have add that add a little bit of spice in your life 
not just your light in your food as well you realize that you know it actually have a very minor effect in raising your metabolism which is exactly what you want things like having coffee coconut oil capsicum uh, uh, it has it, it creates a great synergy uh, for weight loss number 5 you know i used to spend endless numbers of hours doing uh, cardio running over a treadmill and doing what not but i realize you know it's it's so no use till the time if you on the contrary my body started look uh, getting very sag and very loose so i added weight training into the session that you know you should do a lot of high intensity training which means lesser resting period and lifting little heavy so that you know i give my body that training stimulus that is actually looking for rather than just running aimlessly for hours and you know and, 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 and which pretty much doesn't do anything but i also realized doing weight training is that you know not only you burn calories while you're working out but you also burn calories after your workout for next 48 hours and i've talked about it in my previous video number 6 again oh i got to repeat that and number 7 uh, uh it's uh, uh chew slowly you know this is as basic as uh, as anything else that you know we usually when we are hungry especially when your goal is weight loss chances are we starve ourselves and you know we don't eat much uh what happens is we chew very fast and when we chew fast we end up eating more uh, and and that food doesn't usually get digested at times but if you were to chew slowly you would realize that you know you really don't have to eat that much whatever you will eat will get digested very quickly and at the same time it will avoid that overeating spree small little thing but really helps uh I've I've said this in my uh, previous videos too. Supplementing with whey protein has really helped me a lot. You know, because I'm a vegetarian, I really don't take lot many things. Uh, I turned vegetarian. I used to eat a lot of fish, chicken, and but I realized that you know, uh, uh, a non-veg doesn't suit everyone. It comes from within. So when I quit non-veg, I had to supplement something with my for my protein uptake. so whey protein was the best option uh, i i i kind of dabbled with concentrate which kind of had 80 to 85% uh, of protein with a little bit of carbs because as i said in my previous videos too i'm a carb lover i got to have carbs for me to function right so supplementing whey protein can be of great help if you want to lose weight and and, tra and try to transform yourself uh number 9 uh it's avoiding diet food you know a lot of food that i see you know has you know diet stuff written on it you know it it's it's sugar free or it's diet you know you got to stay away from that food you know and when it says no added sugar you know we usually have to stay away from sugar because that's the kind of food which is misleading and you know which which makes us want to eat a lot because we think it's fat free so we can get get away from it that was actually my biggest mistake that i was making so i kind of got rid uh, got rid of all that diet food from my uh, diet uh i can't uh, 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 over emphasize the importance of water uh, i even you know now that it's such a habit that i even drink 3 to 4 liters of water without actually me being thirsty uh, it's just now the habit that i've developed uh, most of the times you know we confuse our hunger uh, what our thirst with hunger which is actually what makes us eat that's not the right practice so if 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 you're hydrated properly uh, chances are even you won't be even hungry that much water is something you got to have 2 to 3 liters every day uh, last one point that i'm going to share with you uh, is that you know before your meals uh, if you can also have a, 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 a one glass of water or two glasses of water uh, this will prevent overeating and actually can do wonders uh, to your appetite in terms of uh, minimizing it so these are some of the things that i tried and which has worked wonders for me and i hope i hope uh, they help all of you too Uh, any one of you have any questions for me please feel free to ask you know i also run a small youtube channel uh, uh, by the name of tarun gil fitness expert you can ask me questions there or you can ask me questions directly on facebook i'm happy to answer if you uh, and as i said earlier you got to be more specific with your query for me to get back to you so till we meet again see you